the contents of this package are going to change the look of the exhaust on the bike drastically. We're back with part two of the motorcycle exhaust. I've had a change of idea for what I want to do with it. Obviously, I'm still going to paint it. There's another thing I want to do with it, but first, I got to put it back on the bike just to see how it all fits and we will go from there. I'm not going to put the gaskets on just yet. I'm going to be taking the exhaust back off. All right, so I got the exhaust back on. The hardest part is though, is knowing if there's a leak or anything in here or up here behind the front one without actually starting the bike. I do have the gaskets to go in. The reason why I put them on is because if you remember when I took them off, the bracket down here I had to put a couple washers in between. Hoping I can adjust them up so I don't have to have them in there. What I would really like though is before I get it painted, if I can get the bike started, I'll get the gaskets in, I'll get it started, I'll position it where I need to. Because if you see here, there's a bolted on collar. I want to get it lined up to where the exhaust needs to be, and I want to weld that just to get rid of that entire collar. So I got them back on, I managed to get it all set up. The original nut that was on there, that there was a bolt in when I bought the bike. I did get the bolt back in it. I did double nut it. I don't know if there's any exhaust leaks around here yet, but what I should do before I carry on too far is get the exhaust gaskets in there. I probably should have did that before I put them on. These are the gaskets that I got. I think I got them on Amazon for maybe like 13 or 14 bucks. I can post a link in the description below. Um, so yeah, I'll get these on. So I just realized something. This lined up. The mounting bolt right here, that has to mount up to this part of the frame, isn't lined up. So I gotta reconfigure it. I gotta start over. Managed to get the exhaust back on. I took the bracket or the band off of there. Obviously when I started up, there's gonna be a little bit of a leak in there. I did end up putting the gaskets in. Just got them mocked up. These are tight. I got a bolt back here. I got this bolted to the frame. I'm gonna throw the battery in and see what happens. Oh, if I can feel on. include everything that I can get done today hours of picking away so I'm not sure if you can see up in here but the exhaust on the rear head is sitting a little closer to the swing arm than what I like there's like an inch and a half up there and I don't really like it what I might do tomorrow just give this a quick little cut kind of tweak it out a little bit this way the space in between those two brackets there will be nothing so it's the next day I went ahead and made my cut right there it's a little more open than what I was open for but I should be able to make it work 
pulled the exhaust away from the swing arm a little bit more. It closed the gap between the two brackets there. So I'll go ahead and grab the welder, get it tacked up. I got top of it kind of tacked so hopefully it doesn't come apart. I'm not a certified welder, I just kind of do it for fun. So you take a look there, after I cut it and I bolted it down, you can definitely see how much it pulled itself in. I don't think I did too bad of a job. Obviously it's not super clean, but doesn't look like there's any holes. Get back on the bike. So I got the top on, it's tight. I've got the bottom bolted up. As you can see, this is where I welded. I'm just gonna start the bike back up. bit of a leak right there. It's not leaking up there, which is good. It's not leaking there. I know I said I was gonna keep it off, but I don't really feel like welding the top part of the exhaust right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a little bit of time to cool down. And go in the house, have some lunch, have some coffee, and I'll be back to finish putting it all back together. And we are back. I'm gonna finish putting this together. One last check, make sure there's no exhaust leaks. To keep the length of the videos down to around 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna call part two. We're gonna finish this video up right now. Before we actually wrap up the video though, as promised at the top of the video, I will open up that package that I got in. So what I plan on doing with the exhaust, obviously you know I'm gonna paint the, the mufflers. I plan on painting the entire thing, but to spruce up the look of them a little bit, I decided to go ahead and order this. It's a wrap for the exhaust. I did have a black wrap on it when I first bought it that I put on. After seasonal riding, it ended up fading to white. So I took it off, painted the exhaust, and as you know, it went to shit. It didn't hold up very well. We'll go ahead, open it up. So here it is in the box. You get your wrap. I'm not sure if you can tell the color of it. It's supposed to be like a titanium color. In the box, it also comes with a couple gloves, instruction manual, a bunch of zip tie holders. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
press that thumbs up if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button. I'm not sure when part three is going to come. Till next time, keep your shiny side up, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.